Foampaw Screen Recorder is a versatile all-in-one screen capture and editor. In this video, I will show you how to use Foampaw Screen Recorder. Launch the software, you will see different capture modes, video recorder, audio recorder, game recorder, phone recorder, and more. Here you can customize display scaling, language, and switch to preference settings. Moreover, when you get the registration code, click here to register your account. At the bottom, you can find advanced recording features, record history, auto stop recording, task schedule, record watermark. Choose video recorder. Here you can choose the recording region you want. You can select the full or part of the window. Click Add Exclusion. You can select a window or process you don't want to record in your video on the left. To record yourself and the screen at the same time, enable the webcam camera. Click Setting to choose the resolution. Style. Opacity and preset position of the webcam camera you want in advance. Toggle on the system sound and microphone to adjust to desired volume. Click here to choose microphone noise cancellation and enhancement. After that, click sound check to make sure your records are successful. If you need around the mouse or follow the mouse to record, click advanced recorder. Choose resolution. This is how it works. After all the settings, click Rec to start recording. During the recording, you can take snapshots. To highlight points, you can add a rectangle, ellipse, arrow, brush, callout, and text to the video and change their size and color. The magnifier allows you to change the magnification, size, shape, and pattern. When the recording ends, click stop. Trim the part you want and click done to save it. If you want to go further in the editing, click Advanced Trimmer. If you want to record the voice from the system or microphone, you can select Audio Recorder and turn on both buttons to record both at the same time. Here adjust your system and microphone sound to your desired volume. Tick both boxes to perform microphone noise cancellation and enhancement. Then click sound check to make sure the audio was recorded successfully. Click Rec to start recording. You can control audio recording by clicking pause, stop, set record length. When finished, click stop. Here you can trim the part you want. Click Done when finished. If you want to go further in the editing, click Advanced Trimmer. Game Recorder is designed for gaming recording and can lock the game window. Select Game Recorder. Please read the note carefully. Click Select the Game to select the ongoing game window from the menu. Next, you can enable or disable the webcam, computer system sound, and microphone. Click setting to choose the resolution, style, opacity, and preset position of the webcam camera you want in advance. Toggle on the system sound and microphone to adjust to desired volume. Click here to choose microphone noise cancellation and enhancement. After that, click sound check to check the sound quality. Finally, hit the rec icon to start recording your ongoing game. After finishing recording, click stop to preview. 
then click Done to save your video. If you want to go further in the editing, click Advanced Trimmer. Window Recorder function enables you to lock the recording area to avoid other interference. You can select the window you want to record, or click Window Catcher and drag it to the desired area. Click to adjust the webcam. system and microphone sound. After all the settings, click record to start recording. They have Greg Slaughter back, and I'm having any coach team. We are going to be one and done in this game. We want to end this today. Click stop to preview, and click done to save. If you want to go further in the editing, click advanced trimmer. Webcam Recorder can record webcam and enable system or microphone sounds simultaneously or separately. Click on Webcam Recorder. Select the resolution you want for your webcam and adjust the system and microphone sound to the desired volume. Click Record to start recording. Here you can take a snapshot or set a recording length, size or ending time to stop recording automatically. You can choose whether to shut down, sleep or exit your computer when done. When finished, click Stop. Here you can trim the part you want. Click Done when finished. If you want to go further in the editing, click Advanced Trimmer. Click Phone Recorder. Phone Recorder can not only enable you to easily mirror your phone to PC or MacBook via Wi-Fi or USB, but also record it at the same time. If you want to mirror your iPhone to PC or Mac and record together, here we choose iOS Recorder. It supports screen or only audio mirroring and recording to your computer at the same time via Wi-Fi. Next, make sure your device and computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi. Then swipe down from the top to open Control Center. If you want to mirror and record your device screen with audio to your computer, click Screen Mirroring. Then select PhonePaw Screen Recorder and wait for the connection. Before recording, you can set the device resolution up to 4K, output resolution, and recording content. After that, click Record to start recording. After the recording is finished, click the red stop icon. If you just want to record the audio of the phone, follow the text and GIF guide here. If you're an Android user, select Android Recorder to proceed. This feature provides two connection ways, Wi-Fi connection and USB connection. If you don't have a USB cable around, install PhoneLab Mirror on your Android and run it. Choose Detect, enter PIN code or scanned QR code to connect wirelessly. Now tap on the Detect icon in the app to start searching devices. When you see your computer name shown, click Connect to start casting screen. Before recording, you can set the device resolution up to 4K, output resolution, and recording content. After that, the click path. record to start Let's recording. Continue. We're here to see Alice Dumbledore. After recording, click stop and preview. The Finally, Let's tap continue. done to save it. Preferences are global settings. Whichever recording mode you choose will follow the preferences, and the presets will be saved the next time you enter. You can change the recording settings in recording, including whether to allow float panel to be captured. In the output section, you can select the output folder and make presets for screenshot, video, and audio. In the sound section, click setting for system and microphone presets. In camera section, click setting for camera resolution, style, and other presets. In mouse and keystroke section, you can set the display effect of mouse clicks and mouse area.
Choose Media Metadata Editor to view and edit metadata of videos. Click this icon to split the video into two or more clips. Drag the pointer or use the keyboard to enter the time point to clip the video. Click here to add a new clip. The new clip will use the end point of the original clip as the starting point. Click Add Segment or this icon to copy the segment. Click this icon to reset. Click Fast Split to quickly split the video into the set number of segments. Enter the set number or time length. Then click Split. Click Merge into One to merge the clips for outputting. Check Fade In to add an opening shot or transition to the beginning. Check Fade Out to add a transition to the end. Tap Name to edit file name. Then, click Output to finish video and audio settings. When finished, click Trim. Select Video Compressor, set the video size, output format, resolution. You can view the size of the output file and preview it in real time. Click Compress when finished. Choose File Merger, add the video files you want to merge. Tap Name to edit file name. Then, click Output to finish video and audio settings and click Export when finished. Click File Converter. In the Video Export section, change the video format, resolution, quality, and other settings. In the Audio Export section, change the audio format, encoding mode, sample rate, channel, bit rate. Click Convert when finished. If you want to record a lot of video quickly, click Auto Stop. Here you can set your recording length, recording file size, or ending time to Auto Stop recording. Apart from that, you can also multi-segment recording continuously. For example, if you set each file length to 1 minute, and set total recording length to 5 minutes. Click OK and click Rec to record. After finishing, you will find your recorded video is continuously recorded into five different one-minute video clips of equal length. Furthermore, you can click Task Schedule to schedule a recording task in advance. Enter task name, set the start time and stop mode. Then choose the recording mode you want and click Manage. You can decide whether to shut down your computer when you end recording. Finally, click OK. Before quiescing no watermark, default picture watermark or default text watermark, click Manage to preset. You can set different watermark placement, shadows, opacity, etc. Click Apply when finished. That's all. Give a big thumbs up and subscribe for more.